Hello everybody. I wanted to take an opportunity in this video to introduce you to the website Literature in Context, which is what we are doing our final project for in this class. We are going to be creating a high quality digital edition of Lady Susan for inclusion in this digital humanities project which is funded by the National Endowment for the Humanities and developed in partnership between Marymount University and the University of Virginia. So Literature in Context is a web accessible, mobile friendly digital anthology that has contextualized and edited literature in English that is designed for use by students. There are a variety of um, splash pages here that you can see featured works. Um, you can learn about course packs. It's not really that much of interest to students, but for faculty it would be. Um, and there's information here on collaboration as well. We have an about page that tells you a little bit about what our goals are. So I strongly encourage you to um, read up on this in general, uh, but Overall, our goal is to try to fix one of the unintended consequences of uh, the World Wide Web. Um, basically, the widespread free availability of texts of all sorts that often have not been edited very well, um, are difficult to read, uh, may not be annotated in a helpful way. Instead, they may offer interpretations, um, which is really the job of you, the student, to come up with rather than um, the textbook you're using. So we wanted to create a website that would house documents that have been fully edited and annotated and made available for machine reading. Now, what this means is that these are not just plain texts, okay? like on Project Gutenberg, um, where it just is a sort of a plain text document, um, no formatting, no nothing, it's just text on the screen. Um, we are instead interested in creating documents that are structured and marked up in a way that helps computers understand what they are, and how they should be displayed. This is called structural markup, and I am going to talk a little bit more about that in a different introduction. But for now, um, our goal with this site is to contribute to the store of public knowledge, um, not just by adding another web page to the world, but by uh, creating a reliable, uh, student-edited, annotated digital edition of Lady Susan for students just like us to use. So we're going to be creating um, this. We're going to be adding to this uh, repository. And um, I can show you a little bit uh, about what, the, of what this will look like, but um, you will have remembered this from seeing the Castle of Otranto, right? We read um, Horace Walpole's The Castle of Otranto here. Um, this text has not been um, annotated and it also hasn't quite been fully edited, uh, but um, I did put this up in basic XML form so that it's accessible on this site. Um, it hasn't yet been annotated or anything like that, but other texts have been. Like this edition of Mary Wollstonecraft's, an excerpt at any rate, of Mary Wollstonecraft's Vindication of the Rights of Woman. Um, this was created by students at Marymount University, uh, and you can see that it looks very much like the Castle of Otranto text, except there are annotations, okay? These are annotations, and each annotation has been written by a particular student. For instance, this one, which was written by Josephine Fleming of Marymount University, okay? And there's her annotation. So we're going to be doing this. We're going to be creating our own annotations. Um, we are going to be adding them into the text that will be 
formatted so that it can be read by this machine, by this browser. Uh, and it seems like it might be, you know, too difficult, but, um, but I promise we'll do it in stages uh, and it won't be that tough, okay? Uh, the hardest part will be writing your annotations, okay? Um, so I will give you a, a bit more uh, of a complete um, overview, but in the meantime, what I would really like for you to do is to browse through this um, bit excerpt from A Vindication of the Rights of Woman. Uh, browse through it and take a look at some of the students' annotations, okay? Remember that you are going to be creating annotations, something like this, okay, for your uh, work with Lady Susan. Okay, so it might be helpful for you to see what this, what they look like, okay? Um, you'll notice that these annotations can be several sentences in length, okay? Uh, there are other models up here which we can draw on, like uh, the Franklin like the Benjamin Franklin autobiography. And you can see that um, some of these are much briefer, okay? These annotations are a little bit uh, briefer. Some of them are simply definitional, like this one from the Oxford English Dictionary, okay? So there are a variety of kinds of annotations we can do. Um, these were done by folks from the University of Virginia. Um, Ours will look probably a little bit different, uh, but there is a variety of options. There are a variety of options for you. So please browse this website and take a look at um, the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin, as well as uh, the Vindication of the Rights of Woman. Um, in particular, just take a look at some of the annotations that the students have prepared. This site does also include page images so that you could see what the um, first edition or the earliest edition looks like, okay? Um, and you can tell, you can see that the text is sort of calibrated for each page. So this will allow you to cite it very easily. Um, and it also allows us to double check, okay, the text with the actual um, page image of the book here. Um, I have created a sort of basic page for us, uh, and you'll see that it's got a, we, there's a lot of work to do here. I've been working on the first couple of letters as a model for you, but the rest of it is here. It's just not um, very uh, well edited um, yet, and it hasn't really been fully marked up, okay? Um, but I have gone in and added page breaks, and um, I believe I have added page images as well, okay? And we'll talk a little bit more about this um, in the future. This, these are the page images from the, the first published edition of Lady Susan from the 19th century. Um, okay, so uh, that's an overview of Literature and Context, which is what we're going to be contributing to for our final project. I encourage you to browse the site and take a look in particular at uh, the Franklin um, text and this uh, excerpt from A Vindication of the Rights of Women by Mary Wollstonecraft, uh, which was done by um, students of Marymount University.